This is Sean OTD, and welcome back to Is It Worth It? Today, the Ruger 2245 Mark II. Now, as always, I like to just kind of dive right into the review without wasting too much time. Um, one of the things I like about the uh, this particular model is it does have the bull barrel. Uh, if you notice, you know, thicker diameter barrel, so that means for target shooting, which is what this is really designed for, uh, you can shoot for a much longer period of time without your barrel getting hot. Um, whenever you have the thinner barrel, barrel heats up, starts sending the bullets off to the side, uh, as most of you shooters know. So with the bull barrel, you get a lot more shots before it heats up because it has a lot more metal to heat up. Um, another thing is, it gives a lot of weight. So that means that there's zero kickback since this is a 22 long rifle, there's no kickback. Literally, I've been known to hold it like this with my fingers and shoot this way, which is ridiculous that I'm only holding it by a couple of fingers and literally holding it like this and being like, tink, 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 and just tear it up a three inch target and just eat out to the center of it. Uh, extremely accurate, um, even with bulk ammo, as I generally buy bulk ammo for 22, and going out there for a day of shooting, I try to spend as little as possible. Nowadays, it's a little harder to find the bulk ammo, but you know, whenever I was doing it on a regular basis, going out there every week and blowing through 500 rounds, I'd split between this and my Ruger 1022, and I would go out there and just blow away targets all day. Uh, with a bull barrel, it'd stay nice and cool uh, between you know, between ceasefires. There's plenty enough time for it to cool down. Um, smooth trigger. Um, the hardest thing about this is the actual um, reassembly. The breakdown is super easy, but the reassembly is a pain in the butt. Um, to try to get everything to line up, there's a little flip in here uh, that is a real booger to get in place. Uh, I changed out the front sight for a uh, fiber optic front sight, and the back sight is, of course, adjustable rear sights. And by the time I got this thing di uh, dialed in, with that little fiber optic front sight, you can just drill holes all day long. Uh, you can get uh, speed loaders for these. Uh, we will fit most of the Mark series. This happens to be a Mark II, and I really do like the gun. You know, even though it's a little weighty when it's empty, whenever it's full, it makes for a very smooth shooting firearm. So it's a, it's a nice little jewel. The Mark III's, on the other hand, uh, that, are, that are newer, with the, with, the Mark, with the Mark II series, I can drop my mag, I can go ahead and drop the uh, firing pin, and I can disassemble the firearm just as is, or I can fire the, as you noticed, I don't do this often with, with 22s because you can break the firing pin because they are rim fire, so you shouldn't make it a practice commonly to dry fire, but if you notice, it is able to fire whenever the magazine is out of the chain or out of the uh, out of the handle. For the Mark III's, you have to have the magazine in there in order to fire around and in order to disassemble the firearm. Huge safety no-no. So, you know, what if you happen to leave a mag uh, around in the mag? You don't, you know, you have to be extra careful. You have to make sure that you you clear your mag, you clear your firearm, and then you insert your mag in order to disassemble your firearm, which is just seems ludicrous to me that they, they would do something like that to begin with. But they did that as a safety feature, so if the mag is out of the gun, the gun won't fire, but in so doing, you can't pull the trigger to take the gun apart. So um, that's why I like the Mark II over the Mark III's. So if you're going to get one, I definitely recommend getting the older model versus the newer model. Even a $300 price tag, still totally worth it. So is it worth it? Resounding yes. It's one of the smoothest shooting handguns I have, and it's one that I would definitely uh, go out there and plink away with all day and feel comfortable shooting a snake in the head with at the end of the day if there happened to be a snake around. And thanks for watching. Is it worth it? And as always, don't forget to subscribe.